What's going on guys? My name is Nicholas Merton and today we are on part 11 of my series on SQL and data analytics for beginners. So you guys, now that we have three different charts in our story providing some really valuable information in a visual sense along with some forecasting and overview of what we can pick up from the information, it's time to start really focusing on how we can detail our charts the way we want. You know, we haven't really talked about measuring the aesthetics and making it appear and appeal the way we want it to. So how are we going to change our charts to look how we'd like them to? Well, Tableau gives us a variety of tools and we'll go ahead and start by clicking on our first sheet, which is sales over time. So the first thing I want to talk about is changing color. You know, when I think about sales, I don't really think of this kind of bluish color we have on here. I want to see a bright green to really kind of signify the cash flow of our company. So let's go ahead and change the color. Now, seeing in this case, we only have a single line. Uh, in other cases, sometimes you'll have to use color combinations. But in this case, uh, we're, we're just going to be using a single color. And I'll show you what it's like to use color combinations in our second chart we're going to look at. So in this case, I'm just going to pick a nice little bright green. And it looks, honestly, in my opinion, a lot better. It looks much more about signaling sales rather than what we had previously. And what's cool is you can change the opacity, which makes it a little more see-through if you have it at a lower valuation or 100% making it full. I'm going to keep it at full. I don't really want to change it. And then the other thing I want to cover is markers. Uh, markers are a way to signify uh, certain points on your chart. So, for example, if we click on this one right here, it shows all the actual sales points with a small circle. So we can obviously tell with the little bullet points on the chart uh, where our actual weekly sales numbers are. So it just makes it stand out a little bit more. So next up, we're going to talk about size. Now, it depends on what chart you're using, but in our case, it's pretty simple. We're using a line chart. So this is going to change the thickness of the chart. So we're either going to make it more thick or more thin. So to make it more thick, you simply just drag it to the right. So it stands out a little bit more. And then we can also drag it to the left, making it more thin. In this case, I think we're just going to do slightly above one of the markers there. And pretty much what we had before, I think it looks good. All right. And the last thing I want to talk about are labels. And labels can be very useful in uh, kind of helping to uh, detail your chart a little bit more. So what do I mean by that? Well, in this case, there's a lot of cool labels that uh, are available in Tableau. I'm going to talk about two of the major ones that you should know right off the bat on how to use and what they mean. So for example, we've got minimum and max, and that's pretty self-explanatory. That would basically show the, on a text-based numerical value um, the minimum and the maximum value on our chart. And uh, the other one that I really want to use in this though, however, is the line ends. Now what line ends is, is pretty much it's going to show the beginning value and the ending value in the measures that you have on your chart. So let's go ahead and click on line ends. We leave all the settings and the options as they are. And you might notice we haven't seen it yet because we have to mark show mark labels. And we'll go ahead and click out of that. And look at that. We've got two values printed on our chart in a text-based dollar value, which is $305 in our first week. And then we have 15211 in our most recent week. And that obviously shows us we have a positive trend going towards the future in the sense of growing sales. So we've turned this from a kind of plain blue chart into something that's giving us a little bit more insights and then also is giving us a color that we want and a visual appeal that we want overall. So this is much better than our previous chart, guys. We've done a good job. And I'm going to go ahead and skip sheet two and go ahead to sheet three. Now we have a forecaster and there's one thing I really want to cover and that's covering the color. As you guys can see, if we go ahead and click edit colors here, it's going to give us something different than before. In this one, we have an estimate, which in this case is the forecast indicator. And Tableau is automatically going to use the automatic color palette. So these are kind of color combinations that you can use if you have multiple different lines or values printed on your chart. So in this case, we can go ahead and change it. And you know, I want to do, uh, let's, let's see around if we can find a color that we really like. Uh, let's go ahead and do summer colors. Assign palette and apply. Okay, so this gives us kind of like a yellowish golden one. Let's go ahead and let's just keep looking around, see if we find one that we really like. Sometimes you just have to kind of jump around. I like this one, this, this kind of dark blue and this kind of darker orange. I just, for some reason, I think it stands out really well. And it shows us the difference between what we currently have and forecast. So I think we found our color, guys. Let's go ahead and click OK, and we'll go back to our story. And as we can see, 
our actual values are updated. So we're good to go, guys. Look at how much nicer that looks. And it starts to stand out a little bit. So we don't have a lot of repeating colors. We were able to design our charts the way we want them to look. And we also learned the basis of the tools that Tableau offers in designing our charts. So anyways, guys, great job if you've made it this far. We're going to keep on going, learning a few more things in Tableau. But that's it for this video. So I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.